going to be installing the Tealoyelp Frunk Trunk Ambient Lighting Kit. It's waterproof, temperature resistant, and it's environmentally friendly, which is the whole reason why you bought the Tesla, right? Probably not, but three things it comes with is a little instruction manual, but you don't need that because I am going to be your instruction manual. You also have this splitter right here. It has a ground wire, so everything is going to be completely protected. Don't worry anything about your warranty because it's not going to do anything to it. There's also this, there's your lighting strip, and this is what's going to be lighting up your entire frunk area. This is legit. So to do this, the first thing that we're going to do is pop this cover off. All you're going to want to do is pull from the bottom straight up. So on the left side, you should hear it click. And then on the right side, you should hear it click. And then this can just come off. Careful though, because there is this wire for the trunk release, the emergency frunk release, sorry. All you're going to want to do is pull this to the right away from it and it should come out like that let's grab our splitter right here the first thing that i'm going to do is plug this into the light kit so this is keyed it's only going to go in one way you can also match the red wire here with the red wire on this side and click it's connected you're also going to need a 10 millimeter socket so that we can undo this bolt so that we can ground it you don't even need to undo it really you can see this is kind of like a fork style and it's just going to go right in there just gotta loosen it a little bit i previously had this other light strip in here and i bought it super cheaply and that was a mistake i bought it off of like aliexpress or something and it comes with a splitter everything looks pretty good but it doesn't come with the ground wire like the teal oil elf one does and when i had this one plugged in this really cheap one the emergency trunk release didn't work which is not good could also potentially be an issue for the low voltage system I'm not entirely sure but this thing is coming out i don't want any issues with that we're going to take the wire that comes with the car and you're going to want to plug it into the splitter this also only goes one way one side has a notch it's going to be this side for me and we're just going to plug it in like this and now it's time to ground this remember you don't need to take this off you only need to loosen it just a little bit and from there, we can grab this fork part and we're just going to attach it underneath the bolt. Mm. Guys, this screw right here, which it says to tap it to, at least I can't tap it to because it's coated. And this coating does not allow for it to pass to ground. You can see if I'm tapping it, it doesn't light. But if I tap this exposed metal part, watch this, it lights up. So it just doesn't have a proper ground to go to. That's the problem. It says to use this bolt, but I mean, we obviously can't. This one is the same thing. It's coated in this kind of black material. Guys, I found a way for it to work. And it's with the bolt that I said couldn't be used. Except you noticed it's not exactly with the bolt. It's more so behind the latch. So. What this is doing essentially is putting this between the plastic here and your actual latch. Kind of the same process. All you're going to want to do is unbolt this just a little bit. You unbolt it so that you can slide this in from the back. You can see right there. It's between the latch, the metal part, and the plastic right here. Once you're done with that, all you're going to want to do is tighten it up with your 10 mil. You know, you can also probably shave off some coating on that screw as well, and then you would be able to have some exposed metal that you could use it as a proper ground, but this works just as well. All right, making sure everything is good, all we need to do is put this strip in, pretty simple. This thing is so bright, even the, during the day, look at that. Now we're just gonna wanna take it and put it around the entire front tub. Now for this, I'm going to have the wire come out from right here. So basically between these two notches, you're not gonna need to remove your weather stripping at all. Just pull it up a little bit and tuck it right underneath. Now, if you notice your light ever turns off, you look up here, it's because it has like a five minute timer and this even shuts off after five minutes. So if you ever want to relight it, just press it and it'll turn back on. You can see there's basically no gap, small one right here, but the light goes all the way around here. If this is how bright it is during the day, 
I mean, think about it at night. It's going to light up your entire frunk. It's kind of unfortunate that the car doesn't already come with this because it has a frunk, so you would want to use the frunk and you really can't at night. But thankfully, Teal Oil has you covered. So use the code TeslaFPV at checkout to save and enhance your frunk. Check out all their other products as well. They make so much cool stuff. You kind of just shove the wires down and make sure nothing pinches when you go to close this. Line this up on both sides and then just press down and it should clip into place just like that. And boom, this is what it looks like during the day. I'll show you what it looks like at night right now. That is bright. Look at that. You can even see it when it's closed. It literally shines through the gap. It is so bright. That is crazy. Now the frunk is usable. Just think about it when you have a bigger frunk. So if you have like a Model Y, you really want to use this frunk and you really want to be able to see your frunk. If you can't see it, you can't use it. And this makes everything so visible so make sure you pick one up so make sure you pick one up in the description below for yourself for a friend that has a model 3 or y and use a discount code tesla fpv to save yourself and to light up your tesla